lies on our side. That is why we will beat the aggressor. We are not intimidated by the size of the armies or the type of hardware the U.S. has brought. Remember the valiant Iraqi peasant and how he shot down an American Apache with an old weapon. Those who fight in God's cause will be victorious. I am not guilty. I am innocent. You know me. If you are Iraqi, you know me. I said I'm the president of Iraq. I did not say deposed. Politics is when you say you are going to do one thing while intending to do another. Then you do neither what you said nor what you intended. I am not going to answer to this so-called court out of respect for the truth and the will of the Iraqi people. I've said what I've said, and I'm not guilty. I didn't say former president. I said president. And I have the constitutional rights according to the Constitution, including immunity from prosecution. If you are Iraqi, you know who I am, and you know that I do not tire. I am the president of Iraq, and I refuse to answer these questions because this court is illegitimate. There is much to be said for having an experienced international jurist who is entirely unconnected with the allied invaders on the tribunal. Who are you and what are you? I need to know. Women make up one half of society. Our society will remain backward and in chains unless its women are liberated, enlightened and educated. The West needs someone to tell the man who walks around with the biggest stick in the world that that stick can bring down God's house. The participation women in some armies in the world is in reality only symbolic. The talk about the role of Zionist women in fighting with the combat units of the enemy in the War of the 5th of June 1967 was intended more as propaganda than anything real or substantial. It was calculated to intensify and compound the adverse psychological effects of the war by exploiting the backward outlook of large sections of Arab society and their role in the community. The intention was to achieve adverse psychological effects by saying to Arabs that they were defeated in 1967 by women. Whoever tries to climb over our fence, we will try to climb over his house. Based on the considerations of history, ancient history, and international axioms, the logic of following up a citizen with his shadow for the purpose of the demarcation of political frontiers of any state has been discounted for international conventions. The White House is lying once again. He's a liar. He's the world's number one liar. He said there were chemical weapons in Iraq and that Iraq is connected with terrorism. Later he declared, we didn't find any of this in Iraq. 
What I want to say is that he also declared that what Saddam Hussein says is not true. This is defamation of your president of 35 years. In short, we want an independent, liberated and socialist Iraq. We want Iraq to play a vanguard role in the area, particularly in the Arab homeland. We want Iraq to play a pioneering role in consolidating the anti-imperialist line of policy on the international level. The victory of the revolution's will and yours over the stooge pocket is regarded as a victory for the world revolution everywhere. Just as the victory of the revolutionaries in Southeast Asia was a victory of revolutionaries everywhere. Don't be attracted to easy paths because the paths that make your feet bleed are the only way to get ahead in life. Politics is when you say you are going to do one thing while intending to do another. Then you do neither what you said nor what you intended. I call on you not to hate, because hate does not leave space for a person to be fair and it makes you blind and closes all doors of thinking. Women make up one half of society. Our society will remain backward and in chains unless its women are liberated, enlightened, and educated. Nothing worse than curds in your milk. General, Make sure I never see another Kurd again. Controlled Middle East oil. It would control the world. This oil represents 65% of world oil reserves. Therefore, America believes if it squashed Iraq, it would control the oil of the Middle East and consequently hold the oil in its hands and fix its price the way it likes. Don't make decisions in anger or humiliate an enemy after defeating him. Whoever tries to climb over our fence, we will try to climb over his house.